In this video, we're going to take a look at arc length. So by using radians, we can simplify the formula for arc length. So for the arc length here of a circle, we use L to represent the arc length, and that's equal to R, the radius here, which we can see on our diagram. Then we times that by theta here, which is the angle that's subtended at the center of the circle, and that's measured in radians. Now we can easily derive this result here by using the formula from GCSE maths for arc length. So for arc length here, from GCSE Maths, and like I said, you should be familiar with this result. This is equal to theta divided by 360 degrees, and then we times that here by 2 pi r. Now, if we change this degrees here, 360 degrees, to radians, then what I'm going to get here is theta over 2 pi radians, so theta over 2 pi, and then we times that here by 2 pi r. And clearly the 2 pi is able to cancel, so 2 pi here would cancel with that 2 pi, and what I get left with here then is theta times r. Okay, or we can write that then as r theta, as required. So like you can see, the result here is pretty straightforward, L is equal to R theta, and if you want to derive that result, again, pretty straightforward, just using this result here from GCSE Maths. So that's everything that we need there for an introduction to arc length, so what we're going to do now is just take a look at some practice questions here for arc length. So now for question one here then, we're asked to find the length of the arc of a circle of radius 4.5 centimeters, with the arc subtended at an angle of 0.72 radians at the center of the circle. So to begin with here, let's just recall the formula then for the arc length. So for the arc length here, if we use L to represent the arc length, then L is equal to R theta, where R here represents the radius, so that would be 4.5 in our case, and theta here is the angle that's measured in radians, so that would be 0.72 radians there. So all we need to do now is just substitute these values in here for r and theta. So in that case then, for the arc length here, l, this is equal to the radius here, 4.5, times by this angle here of theta, so that's 0.72 radians there, times by 0.72. All you need to do here now is just put this into your calculator here. If you do that correctly, what you get then is 3.24. Okay, and there we have it. So don't forget the units here, working in centimeters. So this is a length, so it's 3.24 centimeters there. Okay, and there we have it. So that's the solution there to question one. Moving on to question two. Now what we can see here is we've got this sector. So I've got this angle here of theta, I've got this radius here of five centimeters, and we've got the arc length here of 3.2 centimeters. And for this question here, we're asked to find theta. So that's this angle here. So where do we begin here? Well, I've got the arc length here, that's 3.2 centimeters. We've got the radius. In this case here now, if we use the formula for the arc length then, so that is L equals R theta, we know L, that's the arc length, we know R, the radius, so in that case then, we can find theta by just substituting these values of L and R in here, and then just making theta the subject. So L here, that's the arc length, so we've got 3.2, is equal to r theta, where r is 5, we get 5 theta there. So all we need to do here now is just divide by 5 to make theta the subject here. Therefore theta is equal to 3.2 divided by 5. So 3.2 divided by 5 here, and that would give me 0 0.64 here. Okay, so theta is equal to 0 0.64 radians there. Okay. And there we have it, so that's the solution there to question two. And finally then, if we take a look at the very last question here, we can see this sector here that we're working with. We know the radius here is 10 centimeters, and we know the angle here is 0 0.5 radians. We're asked to find the length of the arc AB, okay? So all we need to do here is use the formula for arc length. So L is equal to R theta. We know the radius, that's 10. We know theta here, that's this angle measured in radians. We can easily find the arc length here. 
So therefore, L is equal to R, which is 10, times phi, which is this angle here, measured in radians, that's 0 0.5. Well, 10 times 0 0.5, that's the same as 10 divided by 2. That would give us 5 there, okay? So don't forget the units that we're working in here. Working in centimeters, so the arc length here, or the length of the arc AB, would be 5 centimeters there, okay? And there we have it, so that gives us a solution there to the very last question, question 3. And that brings us to the end of this video on arc length.